Hello everybody, welcome to the last tutorial of this uh, series. Um, so it has been around 32 videos and finally we have, we have come to a stage in which we are ready to release our APK to the Google Play Store. So as promised, uh, I want to show you how you build an app from scratch all the way to release it, it to the Google Play Store and this will be the final step. So uh, if you did able to follow the last tutorial in which uh, we actually built the debug APK and then after that we actually uh, sign on the APK and release it and then we create two version of APK one is for 64 bit the other one for 32 bit and uh, these two APK you will have to transfer it from the virtual box to your local computer uh, in a window so um, yeah so I have already done that and uh, I have saved it in one of my project folder. So I have uh, ARM64 and then I also have ARM B V7A. So these two APK are needed uh, when we want to release it to the Google Play Store. So the uh, so next thing that you need to do in order to release this app to the Google Play Store is to register a Google uh, developer account. So I think you need to pay around $25 for that and I think it's only one time payment. So you just go to Google Play Console and make sure you have a Google uh, email, uh, Gmail. So if you have a Gmail account, then you can sign up as a Google developer. So the registration fee, uh, once you have paid $25, you will be bring to this page uh, in the Google Play Console. Okay. So now let's get started. How do we release uh, this APK to the Google Play Store? Um, the first step that you need to do is to click on this create app. So the first thing that you have to do uh, when you are in the Google Play Console with your developer account is to click on create app. And then you will be bring to this page. So in this page, uh, you have to put in your app name. So in this case, let's say I'm going to put my transport app. Um, before you put this, uh, maybe you can survey on the Google uh, Play Store of uh, what kind of name that others are putting and uh, probably you don't want to put the same name as others and also you don't want to put your app name to be so difficult to find that nobody can find your app on the Google Play Store. So and then you can put your default language. In my case, I will put English, United Kingdom. <coughs> so is it an app or game? So in this case, well, in my case is app. And then uh, is it a free or paid? So free. And then these two, make sure you uh, yeah you can read it and then check it and then you can go on to create that. So when you are in the dashboard. Uh, yeah first uh, you need to go to set up your app uh, just go to view task and then you can see that we have uh, several uh, tabs to uh, complete so uh, first go to the app access and here you need to choose whether it is uh, all functionality is available without spatial access or uh, some of the functionalities is restricted on your app so for my case, I will put uh, all functionality is available without special access. But if your app requires certain uh, registration, uh, for example, then uh, before the user is able to uh, use all the functions in your app, then you probably want to check this. So after that, go on and save it. And you will see nothing happen, but then you can actually go back to the dashboard. And then you can see this uh, one is strike off, which means it's completed with a check and if you tick, and then we can go on to the next one, which is ads. So in my app, my app does not contain ads, and therefore I will check this and I will click save. And then I will go back to dashboard. And then the second one is also completed. So next go to the content rating. And we have to start, we need to do some question A. So let's click on start question A. And then you have to put your email address 
uh, I will just put an example abc at gmail.com uh, yeah this email address uh, yeah it's probably the email address that um, will be displayed on the Google Play Store so that people can contact you regarding your app okay and then you can choose the category of your app uh, whether it's a uh, reference news educational social networking forums blog UGC sharing blah 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 and in my case uh, I think most likely is uh, under this category utility productivity communication or other okay so next um, yeah all this you need to read through and then you need to answer for example violence no sexuality no language uh, any potentially offensive language no control substance no promotion of age restricted products or activities no and does the app natively allow users to interact interact or exchange content with other users through voice communication text or sharing images or audio uh, for my case no uh, share current physical location with others no purchase no no and no okay so go in and save it and then click on next and then in the summary you just uh, click on submit and yeah that is complete so then you can go to go back to dashboard yeah okay so the target audience uh, will be the next one and uh, yeah you can decide uh, the target edge that your app is uh, targeting on for my case probably I will choose 13 to 15 16 to 17 and 18 and over okay then I will click on next and then uh, could your store listing unintentionally appeal to children no next and then uh, save okay when it's done nothing happened but you can go back to dashboard now uh, the next one will be news app uh, it's just asking whether your app is a news app or not for my case is no and then save and then go back to dashboard so the next one select an app category and provide the contact details So is it an app or game? It's an app, a category. Um, for my case, I think it's probably um, travel and local. And yeah, you can uh, read through all these categories and then select the best one for your app. And there are so many different categories. Uh, for my one, it's more about transportation and therefore I put the travel and local. And therefore, for text, um, yeah, there are so many different texts uh, that you can read through. But I'm going to do a filter, uh, category filter. So I'm going to just filter the travels and local apply. And I think there is a limit of how many texts you can put. I think it's five. So I will choose bus. Uh, public transport, taxi and lift share, trains, and then travel and local. Okay, apply. So for email, I will put the example abc at gmail.com and then phone number uh, you can put also uh, your contact phone number if you want people to contact you. Uh, because when you, if you put your phone number, people are going to be able to see your phone number on the Google Play Store so uh, this is optional and then website is also optional you can put your own website and uh, yeah go on and save it and then uh, nothing actually happened but you can always go back to dashboard and the last one will be set up your store listing 
So my app name is my transport app. Your short description, uh, yeah, I'll just put some short description like uh, um, show public transport in Singapore. Um, long full description, uh, track buses, train, traffic. Cars, um, no, uh, taxi, car park, bicycle parking, and etc. Also, show bus arrival sign. Okay. And app icon, uh, yeah, I'm gonna choose, uh, the app icon that we have created earlier so let me go to icon folder and then this is the one that I will choose let's drag it here and feature graphic um, you can actually go to uh, go and look for feature graphic generator for example and then you can actually design your own uh, feature graphic mm, yeah maybe this one yeah so you can uh, yeah design your feature graphic and then uh, you can change the size position offset subtitle title and so on and the background color um, yeah in my case I will just use uh, let's see screenshot no okay I will use this one feature graphic Um, remember there is a size for the app icon 512 by 512 and then the feature graphic has to be 1024 by 500 okay so font screenshot and then 7 inch table screenshot and the 10 inch table screenshot for these three uh, I would suggest you to look for some uh, generator online one of it will be the app launch pad uh, in which you can generate screenshot uh, yeah for your app so what you need to do is to sign up an account is free uh, but then uh, free account come with a watermark on your screenshot and then uh, yeah you can uh, insert your screenshot and then it will actually generate something like this for you uh, you automatically automatically generate a screenshot for different size for you for example this one so I got a screenshot on uh, generated for font size 7 inch tablet and also 10 inch tablet okay so uh, I will come back to here and then I'm going to upload the phone screenshot and let's see let's see um, So I'm going to choose the phone screenshot for example 128 opened and then the 7 inch 128 opened and finally the 10 inch 128 opened okay looks good so you can also add a video um, we by entering a U, uh, YouTube URL and then uh, this video will be shown on the Google Play Store on mostly you can show people how to use the app okay so I will save it
and then uh, when it's done let's go back to the dashboard cool so now the next thing that you need to do is to release your app well there are quite a lot of things that you can do here for example test your app and then uh, let everyone sign up to test your app on google play so many things that you can do but uh, we can straight away jump to uh, publish your app on google play if you just want to focus on publish your ad on the Google Play. So uh, we go to publish your ad on Google Play and then we click on select countries and region. And then go on and add countries or regions. And you can select the country which you want uh, to allow people to use your app. Uh, for the demonstration purpose, I will choose all and then add country or regions. Add. and uh, go back to dashboard and then um, yeah create a new release create re new release okay click on continue and then now is the time that you can upload your apk so let's go back to our project folder and then you can drag your APK and put here. So while waiting this to finish, um, release name, uh, for example, you can see uh, my transport app release 0, 0 0.1 and then for oops okay let's try again for this one and then here you can put your notes about the app uh, i will just put new release So yeah, you can see these two are finished and then uh, click on save and then uh, you can click on review release. All right. So now when you click on the last step, start roll out to production and then we'll click roll out. Uh, you will send this APK to Google for review. The first time you're releasing it, it will probably take like, uh, I think four to four days to seven days uh, to finish the review. But then the next time, if you are trying to uh, update the release, it's just going to take probably like uh, uh, five to 10 minutes, okay? So I'm now not going to draw out because I already have the similar app on the Google Play Store. So I'm just going to stop here and then I'm going to discard my release. And uh, yeah, I hope this is a good demonstration to you. And then I hope the entire series is a good one for you to learn about how to create an app from scratch all the way to releasing to Google Play Store. Well, um, there are still some, um, yeah, I believe there are still some uh, improvement that can be done on the app. Uh, but yeah i just had three months to uh, rush out this app and then i just want to focus on showing you the entire process so definitely the app can be improved further and uh, and yeah to make it more robust and less crashes and so on and i hope you like my content uh, um yeah and then you can probably leave your comment below of what you want to see in the next series and then uh, if you like my uh, digital content um, yeah, feel free to uh, support me on buymeacoffee.com and yeah, I think that's all for this series and I hope you really enjoy this series and thank you for watching I uh, really appreciate uh, for your time and uh, I hope to see you in the next one bye bye